Hello and welcome members. Set up PowerShell to manage Exchange Online Services. So as the title indicates that here in this video, we are going to show you how to set up your PowerShell to manage the Exchange Online Services because when you use the portal, you know, you have to just log on and do a few clicks to manage and maintain your Exchange Online environment. But in contrast, in Exchange Online, when you wanted to manage it with via PowerShell, you need to install a few modules and few libraries, and you need to know how to connect to the Exchange Online. So let's move to the PowerShell. Well, here we are connected to our Windows PowerShell, and to get the details, because I have compiled and sorted out all the command lines that you need to run on the PowerShell to manage your Exchange Online environment. And let me show you the notepad that I have created for you guys. And you can see all these commands. And later on, you can pause the video and copy all the commands. And we will provide you these commands in different, you know, in a platform or even in our JSS platform. And if, it's, if this video is online, so you can mention in the comments and we will provide all these commands. And all you need to do is to just change the username here. That is definitely your username and that must be came from your environment. So first you need to run these two commands at execution policy remote sign and import module PowerShell get because all most of the commands starts with the get. So it will prompt you that this command will not work here. Then we are we are going to move to the other command to see the available exchange online management because most of the time happens what that there are pre-installed exchange online environment or you have installed the exchange online management somehow and it start interfering with the new installation so it is good to verify whether you have the exchange online management module or not so as you can see that we have run this get module exchange online management dash list available and here you can see that it shows nothing which means we don't have exchange online management available so let's install this module and for that we're going to run this command install dash module dash name exchange online management that's dash force and here let's paste the command because i have tried all the commands and all the ways that how it will stop and what are the blockers when you are preparing the PowerShell environment because if you have used the PowerShell before so you must know that there are a lot of ways the PowerShell stops you and most of the time commands don't work so to get rid of that you need to have some specific commands that works and that helps you to easily get connected with the online services so after running this command, we're going to again run this get module exchange online management command to see the impacts, whether it starts showing us the exchange online management module. So this installation is done and let's run this get module command. Okay. Oops, we have run this installation command again, so no problem. It is reinstalling the same package and unzipping the whole package to the PowerShell modules. And let's type this get module exchange online management dash list available. Okay, so it's not showing any list at this moment, which means that maybe this service has not been properly installed or okay so we have missed we have done some spelling mistakes that's why it's not showing here and right now you can see that this exchange online management module has been installed successfully and after that you need to connect to your exchange account and we have already set up this command to save the time and to show you how you you need to run this command and what would be the flow while running these commands because each command support each other all these commands supports each other so you need to remember the numbering 
the flow that which command needs to be executed first. Now, once it required the credentials, so we are going to type the password to get connected with the Exchange Online environment. And here you can see because when you connect your device, when you're using the PowerShell, it detects that you are trying to log in to the Microsoft services from your device. So then it will ask you to accept the company policy and you are authorizing this company environment and device management NDM to, you know, monitor your device and manage your device. So right now, this is my personal device and I don't want to authorize this organization to manage my device that's why i'm going to remove the check from here and i will go to this no this app only so as soon as this app is open you'll have the connectivity with the exchange and once you close the powershell you will lose the connectivity so there is no managing and accessing of your devices and this is a separate topic that has to be that has to be discussed in the intune environment now here you can see that you be are successfully connected to the exchange online services via PowerShell. And here I'm going to run this command get mailbox to show you that how it functions and how it provides the data. And here you can see that because we have the single license user we have right now and it shows both the mailboxes. This is the user and this is the group mailbox, shared mailbox. Now, in this way, we can get the details from the PowerShell. And here, we can run other commands to get more details regarding the user. And if you wanted to find out each and every detail regarding this specific user, so you need to type get dash mailbox identity JSS test user and pipe format dash list, and it will give you each and every detail regarding this user, the license, detail, and everything else. So this is a good way to collect the information regarding the user and its status. Then, if you wanted to, you know, find out the licenses, detail, and all other stuff, so you need to watch the next video, because here in this video, we need to set up our PowerShell to connect with the Exchange Online Services, and which command needs to run we have showed and if you have any question so mention in the comment box we will definitely answer you and we will also provide you all the commands that we were running in 